Hi everybody, this is Anthony from Sunny Creates. Welcome to my YouTube channel. So, uh, I thought I would show you something that I'm doing, uh, I did today uh, for our video or tutorial. Uh, so this is my Jane Austen. Oh gosh, is it ever going to get finished? I don't know. But I thought, uh, now this is, this is courtesy of Pinterest. And I thought maybe we could put it, you know, like here or anyway it doesn't really matter and then it is like a puller puller look at me a policy envelope and then it also acts as a um belly band okay and if you put it to the side uh, or you can you know make it a tuck spot and if you make it smaller you can turn it around and you can make it a pocket so the the way you um glue it down will allow for endless possibilities in terms of how you want to use it so that's basically it and then when you open it up uh look at that cute little butterfly there oh my gosh that is so gorgeous so that was uh, from happy mail kim rolandi thank you so very much uh, look all these are from kim and i've got a few more Oh, good few more. And uh, I just love them. And she didn't only send me butterflies. She sent me stars and flowers and bows and all those lovely things. So uh, I'm going to be using it. Ah, oh, look at what I did. I I didn't wait for this to dry. And I glued it uh, shut. Uh, but Okay, no matter. I'll stick that down. But basically it is a policy envelope with a hidden journaling space in it and uh, you can i did it out of um dictionary pages you can do it out of book paper you can do it out of uh digital paper it really doesn't matter um and the size really doesn't matter as well so um i thought it was pretty cool and then also in it you can stick a journaling card as well you know kind of like that and then close it up so you can uh you can also put uh paper on these two edges over here to increase your journal space so look at the possibilities are endless i saw um i saw this on uh pinterest and i thought i'd give it a try um so i just want to glue this here because it's now kind of like annoying me that that piece is sticking out there i should have realized when i closed it up that i shouldn't have okay so that's basically it what would you need you would need some sort of paper uh you would need some uh, plain paper or coffee dye, dye paper you can use ruled paper you can do whatever you want to if you want to embellish it you can embellish it however you want to i just added some stamps to it um the embellishments you can choose what you want to do i used um brown paper packets and i stamped this uh i think this may be a three quarter of an inch or a one one inch i think it's one inch oh my gosh that may be half an inch i don't know okay and then um yeah and and then i've got little brads in it and then i've got some tape just to cover it and then i've just got some die cuts and i put some lace over here just to make it look a little bit pretty and then i've just got some um twine uh but it's like a different kind of a twine in order to uh close it up okay so that's what we will be making today i can assure you it is pretty easy the only thing is to get this rounded part right now you don't have to have the round part you can have the square part really doesn't matter okay and i probably uh, might use this as a template depending on how big it's going to be all right so all i did is i took a piece of uh, this paper i cut down the sides so that's i think that's what came out of it and I'll be using that to stamp words on. And then I'm just going to, uh, uh, let's see, let's use it this way, okay? Uh, because then the white goes inside. Uh, you don't even have to have the white inside. And then you can stamp on it if it's on the top. So 
we're just going to fold it kind of in thirds but not fully in thirds uh, just so that it overlaps and it looks like it's overlapping uh, you know on both sides so I'm going to try and see if I can get the same measurements because if I get the same measurements then I get that quite easily done okay so kind of going in that direction there so uh, but I'm going to show you how I did that right so I'm just lining it up to make sure that it's fine and then I'm lining it up top and bottom here to make sure that I am uh, following the right lines over here and then I am going to finalize those lines okay <clears throat> so that's what I did over there then the next thing I did is I folded in the edges okay um, once again I'm gonna cheat and I'm gonna see what's my measurements here try to fold up the edge as you know uh, uh, around that uh, around there so okay and I didn't even bother to look to see whether both the edges are folded up <laughs> the same in terms of um, height you know I didn't bother uh, I just uh, eyeballed it okay so I'm just gonna do that see and I'm then gonna do the same thing on this side and I think I'm gonna eyeball it here as well okay so uh, this looks mighty short compared to that one there I know it's about the same yeah okay so I'm just gonna do that maybe bring my bone folder out and then do this okay so done right so then the next thing I did now was I opened it up I just want to like you know make the lines a little bit more uh, sharper so that I can fold it properly okay so I didn't put my timer on how do you like that okay we'll give it about whatever right so I'm done with that now then what I did is I inked it I inked it simply because I wanted to see the lines and now I'm looking for my ink dauber there's it here okay and I am using what's this vintage filter so I'm just going to ink it roughly just to help me to see the lines okay and uh, to make help me to you know got a guide on uh, for measuring nothing more than that okay just So I got back to work today. Oh my goodness, guys. I felt like a tornado had hit me because obviously I haven't been at work for almost three weeks. Uh, and you know, as soon as you get in, it's you working. Right, so I think I'm okay with that. So what I did now is the reason why I inked it on these folds over here is you can also ink it over here on the on the inside, okay? But I don't know now. This the sound this feels very much like the outside. Uh right. So and I'll tell you why just now I inked it there. So now the next thing I'm going to do is I am going to try and make a circle. Okay. On this one so I'm trying to get the edges of that circle to match up uh, with you know if you have a protractor okay that would work perfectly but uh, with junk journaling we're taking what we have hey and then we're just making it work for us so I'm gonna do that and then what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take a pencil and I am going to um, from this edge from that ink line to that ink line i am going to make a line like that okay so i use that as the edge but now what i need to understand is that um if i do it like that i'm going to have a, something that looks like that which actually is not a bad idea okay but if you want it to look like that but i want it to come in a little bit so I'm going to go from this tip over here 
and I'm gonna just you know play around with it like that okay kind of like that okay right now what I'm gonna do is I'm only gonna do it on one side then I'm going to fold between these two these two folds here I'm gonna fold between these two just like that okay like that okay and I'm gonna just keep that there then what I'm going to do also is I am going to mitre the edges quickly so I'm gonna cut from here like a tiny sliver of a triangle going in to meet that edge over there and I'm gonna cut it and like that like this and I'm gonna cut it on that line as well so now you see the reason why I kept those lines I mean sorry I inked those lines hey kind of like that oh yeah I must say this is like um haven't done videos for such a long time that I feel like I'm so out of it then I'm gonna uh, fold it till those edges meet and then here's my line over here hey so I'm gonna just try now mm -hmm. dangerous this is dangerous now where I'm going to try and make it into a circle well not a circle half a circle hey like that and I can tell you now it's not perfect at all in fact that one came out better okay but that's how it's looking well that's how it's gonna be let's just let's just take out the pointy tip there and that's it that's fine okay so i'm gonna do the same on this side but i'm gonna show you what i'm gonna do now uh remember we're gonna mitre so we're gonna mitre like like that to the point and then we're going to cut it straight okay like this on that line there yeah and then we're going to do the very same on this side as well like that to the point where we inked and then straight down as well like that okay and then you'll keep these pieces over here because I want to stay, I want to, I want to punch out some things. Kimmy inspired me. I want to either die cut or punch out some stuff. Right. So that's basically what you've got over here now. Can you see? Right. Now what I want to do is I'm going to take this part and I want to bring it up to here. Right. So now what I'm going to do also is I'm going to ink this edge here because then it will help me to see where the fold is. And I'm going to try and match that fold with the fold that I inked up over here now. Just, just to, you know, you know, kind of help me. Okay. And if I don't get it 100% right, oh my word, then if you feel you want to send the police for me, do so. Just let me, just warn me I won't be around. <laughs> Okay, so uh, I'll run. I'll run. <laughs> right, so now what you're going to do is you're going to take your pencil. Huh? Going to take your pencil and you're going to just trace the outline. Oh, if it's crooked, it's crooked, like, hey? Oh, my word. And she saves that and she makes sure that she makes it as crooked as possible. So that's it. There. And we just do that. So <laughs> listen to this. Then I'm going to also bring it in. Fold it in like this. So now hands up everybody. Uh, I was watching on YouTube a whole lot of Christmas movies and uh, i didn't watch a lot of youtube videos while i was away um so while i was away i i, I kind of worked on two digital kits 
And the reason why I worked on two digital kits is because uh, uh, my son struggles to walk. Uh, so when we were on holiday, we would go out the entire day. And then um, we'd come home early enough so that he can rest for the following day, which gave us as a family lots of time to sit around and watch TV and you know chat and stuff like that so and you know boys will be boys so they like in well at that age they like watching their movies and stuff like that so I would then sit with them and while I'm watching the movies with them then I would uh, you know just design some digital kits uh, so but I didn't like actively watch YouTube videos and stuff like that because that meant now uh, I needed to sit in another room and stuff and then the, the, the Wi-Fi wasn't that great I mean it was okay but not you know not fantastic um, so anyway um, when I came back home yesterday when I put my uh, uh, the TV on in our room and it was on my profile <laughs> I still got all the Christmas movies. <laughs> so last night I ended up watching two Christmas movies. <laughs> so, so how many of you you have Christmas movies still on your profile? Come on, own up. <laughs> and um, yeah, I just decided I, well, oh, it's playing, let it play. So I'm just going to do that now like that i mean you don't need to do it if you're not an inca you're not an inca and uh that's fine that's fine it's not like you have to ink this project hey that's right so anyway that's it and i'm going to make that the inside simply because i needed those lines over there right so i'm going to do that and there's more you can ink so uh, go for it hey all right now if you look at it, this part of my book page, book is, the page is like the right side up and these two are not. If you have a problem with that, you can cover it or you can use non-directional uh, pages uh, like, um, you know, digitals or something like that. I don't have a problem with it. I'm quite fine with it. Um, now what you're going to do is you're going to open it up and then you are going to you are going to wonder 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 is this how you start off 2024 proper confusion okay so going to take one of this and going to take one of that and i am going to uh ink them like that and just uh because i'm an inker Although I do do some projects where I don't ink. And then I'm going to eyeball. Um, I'm just going to put a liner. I mean something here. It's just going to help me to understand where that ends. Uh, because the lighting over here. Not so wonderful. I don't have my, you know, you know, my 50 plus eyes light on. <laughs> where were, I mean, I'm... I'm yeah, so while I was away, I uh, stopped uh, and visited my cousin on New Year's Eve and they were having, um, you know, they invited me for a New Year's Eve bash and there was, a, there was a young boy there, but I mean, not very young, I'd say maybe in his 20s or something and then he calls me auntie and I'm like, oh my gosh, oh my gosh. Uh, so I was like, I'm not, not really an auntie, you know. Uh, I'm only fifty. Uh, then he looks at me and, like, now he's like looking at me and he's like, uh, uh, no, but I still need to call you an auntie. I was like, well, whatever, you know. And then he goes, but fifty is not old. So my fifty plus eyes. Uh, need stronger light but then if I have stronger light you're not going to be able to see it's just going to be a glare on your side 
because the light can get stronger it's just that you're not going to be able to see right so that's done on that side okay and then another one on this side yeah so ladies um i know i was late with my uh new year's wish to you um but i do hope that uh you know i've been reading i read that 2023 was a horribly difficult year for some people you know I, I do pray that 2024 will be better uh i can't put uh, it, it was a stressful year for me uh, uh, uh the family in general but uh it was a busy year a stressful year uh you know and stuff like that needed the rest but it wasn't a horrible year uh, and I think, you know, you need to count your blessings when you can. Uh, so, uh, but I do know that there were some people that lost many loved ones over the year uh, and things like that. So, uh, in 2023. So, I do hope that this year brings you more joy than last year. Did. Okay, so that's that. I mean, it's not only the loss of loved ones that... Uh, makes a year bad there are other thing personal circumstances that people go through that uh, may cause them stress like losing a job is stressful uh, um, moving home is stressful moving to a, you know another country or a uh, uh, for for kids to put them into different schools uh, for, for people that have teenagers, you know, acting up of the kids. There's a lot of things that are stressful. So, I hope that, that you know, 2024 will be a better year for people. Right, so, done like that. Alright, so that's the main thing. That's the hardest thing, I think, to do uh, on it. And now what we're going to do is we are going to oh, um, just um, let's make sure that these are nicely um, covered. These little legs of the brads are covered so that we don't get hurt when we open this. And that's masking tape. It's just a different color of masking tape. <clears throat> Excuse me. But it is pretty uh, sticky. That's the word I'm looking for. Sticky. Right, so we are done there now. Now let's look at it and say, right, if we close it up. Right, so so this, this is how we need to add our um, piece of paper now. Okay, so I've got some copy dyed paper. And I don't know if you know the trick. Sure you do. You're a, you're a junk journaler. So I printed dyed and I am just coffee dyed one side and I normally use it for stuff like this. So now I'm looking here and but I'm not looking there. Okay, I'm gonna eyeball that and say right, but I want mine to maybe come in a little bit uh, kind of, I don't know. We'll see what we get and then we'll adjust it. How's that? Isn't this awesome how it coffee dyed over here okay so we need to take out a little bit on this side over here uh, like that and let's see yes so that that's the reason why i made those lines i i darkened those lines over there so that i can just see what's happening uh if my paper is going to fit within those uh you know the panel there so uh, remember i said i'll tell you why i did it that's the reason why i did it okay so now we are done with this i got uh, i got kind of a straight edge there uh, not totally and i'm going to put that down like that thing okay and just like that thing okay so uh um lots of talking in today's video hey uh but um what i wanted to say to you is that i noticed uh that i already hit the 2000 subscriber mark and uh i don't know when it happened 
I think maybe a few days before I went on holiday, I hit the 2,000 subscriber mark. And I, um, I, I, you know, didn't, uh, uh, you know, I didn't get a chance to probably talk about it or whatever the case may be. So I've got a lot of new subscribers. So firstly, I want to thank you all. I thank every one of you for subscribing. Uh, it really means a lot to me. And then I'll also, uh, you would notice that I don't, uh, I haven't been posting my videos on all the Facebook groups, you know, to alert you that there's a video. And um, I'm not saying that I won't do it in future. Okay. I'm just saying that I'm trying to cut back from doing it. Um, and I think I gave you my reasoning. Uh, firstly, uh, more and more Facebook groups are getting fussy about the fact that, you know, uh, people are posting their videos on it. And then you start getting warnings and you start getting stuff like that, which is not always nice uh, uh, for you, uh, you know, like for a content creator. And um, I am fully, fully, fully in agreement with the fact that... Uh, you know, sometimes people take advantage of that uh, where they only post videos, but they don't comment or anything of the sort. So you get warnings, you get warnings. So, you know, some groups just don't like you doing that, like you posting your videos. And uh, I think I've already given my opinion on that to each their own. Um, you in the group, you follow the rules of the group. That's it. Okay. Uh, if you if you don't like the rules of the group, uh, you know I don't know I don't know what to say then I don't know. Okay, it, it, you're an individual. You decide what you need to do. Okay, um, and uh, so I'm thinking that one day. What you think that one day? Uh, let's see what other butterflies we have. Well, I think I like that butterfly because it's not so pinky. Uh, like pink on pink no that might look better so maybe we'll put that there oh yeah pretty 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 okay so i think i'm gonna go with that one there uh, i can't go with anything too big it will then just block everything we've got a blue let's try this blue okay now these are the tim Holtz, oh, i don't know stems wildflowers some are stems some are wildflowers i don't know uh, i got them and I just cut them and then I put them all together and that's it so if I drop that down there no but then I've got pink over here so let's use a pink flower um, let's use this one here right yes that thing right uh, and then uh, just to to it, it's like difficult to decorate the and the because then it looks like it's not one piece that blows hence the reason uh, for me putting um you know this little bit of trim over here on there okay so we just give me a second you're giving me a lot of seconds today hey okay so that's just to you know so we don't have that sticking happening oh Oh, 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 wait. <laughs> I pulled my, uh, uh, I pulled my, uh, machine pedal with me when I roll my chair back. Okay. Sorry, so sorry about all the drama that's happening over here in the Sunny Creates craft room. But hey, uh, don't I provide, I mean, not provide that's not the word i'm looking for the don't i uh tell you promise entertainment so this is all your entertainment uh so yeah so i'm trying to uh do this way i don't post all the time my videos and so please i urge you uh if you were one of those people that followed my videos by waiting for the YouTube, I mean, for the Facebook uh, link to pop up on the Facebook groups, then um, 
I urge you all, whether you are that person or not, to click the notification button so that you get notified of the videos when I post them. I normally post Monday to Friday, but for the last two or three weeks, I've been posting Monday, Wednesday and Friday because I just could not, with working full time, I could not, could not uh, keep, you know, uh, manage to film so many videos in advance. Okay, so that's that over there. Cool bananas. Then let's put this, this trim here. Right, so we're going to take some uh, so it the trim must be on the side of the or wherever you put your embellishment just so that you know that and this is fabric glue that I'm using here yeah so um so yes hit that notification tab and then the other thing now that I'm not posting on uh just do this to see that you're gonna put it the right way now that I'm not posting on the YouTube uh, the uh, sorry the Facebook groups, uh, I, I'm relying totally on YouTube to uh, to suggest my videos, okay, which is always a problem uh, if they don't find that you are in, like people are engaging with you enough, then the algorithm doesn't really pick up your videos. So in that regard, I'd really like it, uh, you know, I'd not like, I'd appreciate, okay? I'd really appreciate it if you could engage with the videos so that the algorithm picks it up. And by doing that, I mean like um, commenting, Heather, oh my gosh, <laughs> yes, Heather, uh, uh, Louisa, uh, Christine, uh, um, they, 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 there's a few more and I'm going to give you shout outs the next video. Thank you so much for all your comments and stuff like that. Uh, you know, there are some people that comment on every single video of mine. And I so, so, so appreciate uh, uh, the comments that I get. The thumbs up as well. So you don't only have to comment. The thumbs up would be awesome. And I know, I know, ladies, I was one of those people that when, when creators asked me to comment or whatever, I was like, oh, please, man, please, you know, uh, not, not, now I must watch the video and I must comment or and I must put a thumbs up or whatever. But I didn't understand it. I didn't understand why they asked you to do that until I became a creator myself. And, and um, you know, you see your, uh, you see your ratings and you see uh, how the algorithm works and you see, you see those kind of things, okay? And then you get despondent because you, 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 you're putting some effort uh, into creating content and then it doesn't get viewed it doesn't get a lot of views or whatever the case now please be mindful of the fact i'm not asking you to like my video to comment on it or whatever the case may be if you don't like it okay by all means i am not trying to sway your decision in any way but if you do like it i'd appreciate a thumbs up or i'd appreciate a little comment whatever i'm looking for for these sweet little butterflies over here that we can add uh, now, obviously, the big content creators out there don't ask for it because they don't need it anymore. Okay, uh, but we are the little people over here on the ground uh, that still need your help. And I'd so appreciate it if you could do that. Even a thumbs up is all we need uh, sometimes. So, how cute is this? How adorable is this? So, let's put that in there like that <gasps> too much too much and uh thank you again <laughs> kim these are adorable and i'm also using the face scrubbies and then i went on holiday and then i bought some books and i'm like i need a um a, a, um bookmark and then i came home and then i opened your packet and then i remembered you sent me bookmarks uh beautiful crocheted bookmarks and then i'm like silly 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 
Why didn't you uh, remember that? Uh, anyway, I will be using that as well. So I'm going to open it now. Uh, put that there, yes, so that it doesn't stick. And then let's decorate this inside here. So this is a bit of a long video, hey? Mm. I don't know, maybe, maybe, well, apart from the fact that I do create slowly, maybe I'm just not in the groove as yet. In the groove, okay. Uh, let's put this one on this side here. I should have put a mat down there. Oh, I was like picking it up, but it was falling out of my hand. And then uh, what I want to do is I want to put another butterfly. Now I can use one of these butterflies here. Like that. Oh, what is this one here? Should I use? No, I want to use. I want to keep that for something else. Wait, it's going to make a statement. All right, so this is the video. I do hope that you like it. And I do hope that you give it a try. Especially if you want to use up your, um, you know, pages, your book pages. Then these kind of ones are excellent to just help you with that um, challenge of using up your book pages. You can also, as I mentioned, put on this here and here to write as well. Uh, all dependent on what you would like to do only suggestions uh and yeah you know do do do, do what you want to do what does tamal say you do you and it is so true and, and you must be hearing a lot of people say that you do you but it is that it is about you doing you it's not about prescription ah so that's it done 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 i'm like what what how did i do that again <laughs> okay it is done this brain is like oh my gosh how is it gonna manage for 2024 i got i got no idea uh how it's gonna work right so that's it um i haven't given you measurements of it simply because you know uh it's not an a4 page that i used to say oh but you can use an a4 page to do this and these are the measurements so that is it i love it i absolutely love it as i mentioned it was pinterest inspired what i do is i look at pinterest and then i was like oh yes that looks nice uh, maybe i must try it out or whatever so i have them prepped to say okay i should try this blah 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 okay so there you go that is it as i mentioned if you like this video Please consider giving it, giving it a thumbs up. And I'd so love it if you even add a comment. Um, to all my new subscribers, welcome, welcome, welcome. And I thank you for choosing me. Uh, to uh, those ladies that continuously, um, what's this word? Uh, um, comment. I know it takes effort, so uh, a special thank you to you. I haven't mentioned all your names. And then also, um, if you haven't yet subscribed and you want, you know, you like the videos, then please consider subscribing, hitting that notification bell. Uh, but more than that, most of all, is I want to thank you and I want to wish you a blessed a uh, week ahead and I'll see you tomorrow with your Friday freebie. Bye!